Are white rappers really the guests in the house of hip hop? Hell no, but we still gonna get into this one by my man Wee Scheme. But first, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video and yes, yes, y'all We are about to get into uh, one of the latest from my man uh, Wee Scheme This one being called White Rapper uh, Official music video uh, Once again brought to us from my man Wee Scheme. Shout out to Wee Scheme by the way um, I'm digging my man's new look by the way um, When it comes to him re reacting to Tom McDonald uh, to be honest, uh, I haven't really watched much of his other stuff to see if he's wearing that um, during like his streams or in other reactions. But either event, um, as I mentioned in um, the Jason Tyler Awesome Show, which you know airs every Monday night on my man Alpha Tyler's channel. Shout out to my man Alpha Tyler, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I dig Scheme's new look. Uh, as I mentioned on our show, uh, it reminds me of Rorschach from uh, The Watchmen. So, uh, yeah, very noir-esque look from my man. You know what I'm saying? That that, that digs, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get to Wee Scheme's White Rapper. Uh, I find it fitting that I waited, you know, as long as I did because um, uh, not too long ago, I've been watching another YouTuber who is apparently a rapper. He goes by the name of Math Hoffa. Some of you may have heard of him. Some of you may, may be following his channel as well. <clears throat> he just had Lord Jamar, excuse me, by the way, he just had Lord Jamar on his uh, show not too long ago, and Lord Jamar went on this whole tirade again about white rappers being guests in the house of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, which is hilarious, but anyway, let's see how my man Scheme feels about this whole situation, but I can hear here, go. <clears throat> I gotta say, I love his beat selection for this one. It's, it sounds like an Eminem esque beat, and I I could tell he he did that with a purpose. He did that for a reason, and I'm all about it. Let me wind it back some. Let's get back into this. <clears throat> I guess I gotta feel a stereotype, man. White guys, so I must rap like a man. But then again, I'm not really white, so then. Why do I look so pale with my slim skin and slim gym face? I like what he's saying right here, man. You're talking about, yo, I guess I must <clears throat> I must feel the, the uh, stereotype of the white rapper. You know what I'm saying? White guys trying to rap. You know what I mean? Oh, we must be the next Eminem or whatever. You know what I mean? But just like just like your 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 boy here, my man Scheme is a pale face Hispanic. So therefore, why should he, you know, really be concerned about this whole situation when really it doesn't really concern us Hispanic folks. Well, as I mentioned <clears throat> a while back when um, I addressed this whole, you know, white rappers being a guest in the house of hip hop, when I reacted, I think I did a reaction for um, Mises um, guests and home. I will pop, bring up the Mises playlist so you guys can go check that out. I'm pretty sure I, I know for sure I reacted to home. Um, but anyway, when I address this whole situation, it's like, yeah, you know, unless you're white or black, you shouldn't. The house of hip hop shouldn't really concern you. But my whole thing was, well, if we allow you know rappers to slide when it comes to determining um, which <clears throat> which rappers that don't look like them, you know what I mean, are you know residents or guests in the house of hip hop. How long will it be before it, it expands to other races, Hispanics? Asians, um, Middle Eastern, you know what I mean, uh, na Native American, you know what I'm saying, um, um, Filipino, you know what I mean, or any kind of like like uh, Pacific Islander, you know what I'm saying, if we don't address this situation now to where they're trying to say, oh, other races don't really belong, if anything, they're, they're guests, you know, how long before, you know, they, they drive this idea, yeah, we need to 
address other races and let them know too that they too are also guests in the house of hip-hop so it's good that my man is speaking out now on this whole situation but anyway See, I make fake beef, no gas, just queef Calling me a pussy when you are what you eat And I'm a dick, wait please, didn't mean that Jeez, need to get some allergies so that you press me I like what he did there he goes, he goes, man, you are a bunch of pussies Well, you are what you eat, I'm a dick Oh, wait, I didn't mean that you know? I like what he did there Bro, let's go When I say is, let's get back to the Rachel cars All this DNA stuff is really kinda hard I'm Latino, second gen from a bar But you wouldn't know it unless I had told you hard Yo, I like how he did that. He goes, yeah, I'm a Latino, you know what I'm saying? A descendant, or uh, second generation, you know what I mean? Um, a descendant from those who came from a land that's far away, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> yeah, and you know, um, that's actually funny because, um, like, my father, he, uh, my grandparents brought him into the U.S., so technically I'm the first generation in our family that's born here in, in, uh, in the good old U.S. of A., you know what I'm saying? So yeah, bruh, bruh, let's go. Get me when I was a little fry, saying that my mama was my maid oh my, playing to the drama, not a move to die. If I really do, I'm just a human size. Show the diversity, inclusion, jump up your my guy. Cause these days, everybody. So uh, it sounds like from what he's saying right there, and this is going based off my interpretation, I could be wrong, but I, what he's saying right there, yo, we, we, we need to stop with this whole um, exclusivity, you know what I mean, and be more inclusive, you know what I'm saying, because um, really the house of hip-hop is for anyone and everyone who has a love for the genre, whether you're a DJ, whether you're uh, an, an MC, you know what I'm saying, uh, or rapper, however you want to look at that, you know what I'm saying, or you're a producer, you know what I'm saying, if you have love for the genre and, and you're, you're doing something for the genre, you're not a guest, you know what I mean? You belong in the house just as much as everyone else that's involved with this genre, you know what I mean? Even if you're fans of the genre, you know what I'm saying? You're still not guests, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's all about who really has a love for the music, the culture, you know what I'm saying? Who lives that that rap and hip-hop lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh, you know what I mean? It's funny, you know, um, <clears throat> you have cats in there that want to, you know, dictate you know, who should be residents, who should be guests, but yet, same people who want to be included in everything, right? Well, well, you're you're not doing anything for your cause when you're being exclusive, you know what I'm saying? When you're, you know, being a, a racist, you know what I'm saying, um, in the rap and hip-hop game, I'm just saying. Want a label, you they got a plan and they wanna entangle you. I'm on my back, so I ripped up the package, dude. No stickers left. Well, now what you gonna do? These days, everybody want a label, you they got a plan and they wanna entangle you. I'm on my back. He, he ain't wrong, he ain't wrong. They want to slap you with these labels, you know what I mean? Oh, white rapper, you know what I mean? Oh, country rapper, you know what I mean? Or whatever kind of rapper, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh. I remember when rappers were the only labels they had was was really it was where it was something that, that that was regional. You know what I mean? You were you were either a West Coast rapper, you were an East Coast rapper. You know what I'm saying? You were a Midwestern rapper or you were a Southern rapper. You know what I'm saying? Can we go back to that? I'm just saying. Back, so I ripped up the package, dude. No stickers left. Well, now what you gonna do? Call me white, nerdy rapper, except I'm not white and I don't always rap. Call me pale. <laughs> like what they did right there. Call me a, a, a white nerdy rapper, you know what I'm saying? Except I ain't really white and I don't always rap. <laughs> Which is true. Like I said, my man is all Latino, like your boy here. And uh he doesn't always rap. Sometimes he sings, you know what I mean? He got a pop punk album. Actually he has a few of them. Um he's got some rap slash hip hop albums out. And then my man also just put out, you know, a, a, a metal song not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? So he's very diverse. You know what I mean? As far as, like, his skill set is concerned. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. Skin Hispanic nerdy rapper, except that's not the label that I'm after. The title of this bastard is in another chapter. So try to flip it faster and catch up with your master. That's me. Ooh, I like that rhyme scheme. You know what I'm saying? That's not the title I want for this bastard. You know, this next chapter. Let me, let me wind that back. Said that's not the label that I'm after. Let this bastard is on another chapter. That this bastard is on another chapter. I like that. 
So try to flip it faster and catch up with your master, that's me. On the track, cause I mastered this whole thing. Song the ceremony, I'm its master, the MC. But these MCs that hate all MCs don't even know the history of MCs. Thank you. Thank you. I've said this too. I've preached this too. Certain MCs who hate on other MCs do this because they lack the knowledge of this genre's history. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you who may not know, here's how rap and hip hop really got started, okay? Started in somewhere between the late 70s, early 80s, you know what I'm saying? It started with the DJs who, you know, would remix classic oldie beats, you know what I'm saying? And uh, would have the MC, you know what I'm saying, get the crowd hype. And would spit these these little these little raps, you know what I mean? They weren't full on verses; they were just small little little raps or whatever over these remix beats. And it wasn't just the black community, members of the black community who were doing this. There was members of the white community. There was it, rap and hip hop was always a diverse genre. It hell, it was found here in the United States. So how is it that something that was found in the United States is only limited to um, the black rappers being the residents and anyone who didn't look like them being guests in the house of hip-hop make that make sense when in the early days of rap and hip-hop you had a white female rapper i believe she went by the name of blondie if memory serves and in her rap she paid homage to those to to the pioneers of rap and hip-hop fat five freddy you know what i'm saying who's fat five freddy google is your friend you know what i'm saying and that's the point scheme is making here you see you gotta know your history if you got love for the genre, if you got respect for the genre, at least have enough respect, have enough love for it to know its history and how it got started. Look at groups like the Beastie Boys, Third Base, Vanilla Ice. Whether you like the guy or not, doesn't matter. He was very much a part of the early days of rap and hip hop. Whether he was doing his commercial rap or later on after he dropped out of the uh, limelight and came back on the underground scene where he made better music, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, Vanilla Ice Underground, a lot better than commercial Vanilla Ice, you know what I mean, that we were all introduced to. You know what I'm saying? And then you had Latin rappers. You know what I'm saying? You had a Latin rap group called Lighter Shade of Brown. Look up Lighter Shade of Brown. They make dope music. Look up some of their best hits. Latin Active, Sunday Afternoon, Homies. Some of the dopest songs that you'll ever hear from them. Proper Dose. Proper being properly spelled out, and then dose, D-O-S, proper dose. Look up them. They they make dope music as well. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, rap was never just a black-only genre. And what's, what's ironic, too, about these knuckleheads that be talking that way, if it weren't for um, a certain group of white folks, right, in suits, you know what I'm saying? White folks in suits, green lighting this genre, the genre would never exist. So don't say, oh, it was just, it was a black only thing. It was only blacks, you know, discovered it. No, if you didn't have help from members of the white community, then the, the, the genre would never be what it is today. It would never have got off the ground, you know what I mean? And become what it is today. I'm just saying, like Scheme says, man, make sure you know your history of your, of this great genre that a lot of us love, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh. See, it shouldn't be that black folks are the residents and those who aren't black are guests. It should be those who have the knowledge, regardless of who you are and what you look like, if you have the knowledge of the history of this great genre, you're the resident. And those who lack the knowledge, they're the guests. That's how I see it. Let's go. Well, my family was there, just ask please So many different meanings, but I think you gotta know these Microphone controller, mic check, I move the crowd Master of the ceremonies, oldest record found Cause back in the day, it was all the DJs Scratching on the deck, then the rap kids came to play Facts, it was the DJs who kicked it off And you had the master of ceremonies, which is the MC You know what I mean? That would get the crowd hype See? Scheme knows And shout out to my man, he knows now the history lessons of the way Sick of teaching these kids with too much to say Get on out of my biz, it's not your parade Pop quiz am I a guest in the house my family made Does that make you uncomfortable? A bell can't take it credit for the hip-hop soul Well my mama showed me photos, won't forget them bro Scratchy records at the party 
money, so what's on your family's camera roll? Cause these days everybody wanna label you They got a plan and they wanna entangle you I'm out my bag, so I rip I love the way my man is flowing on his verses, you know what I mean? I I always dug Scheme's cadence, you know what I'm saying? When he gets into his, his rapidly rap bag, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, and like I said, man, to me, dude is one, one of the best rappers out there right now, you know what I mean? And notice how I said just rapper, not YouTube rapper or anything like that. There's a reason for that, and that's because he has another song we gotta get into. But until then, yo, shout out to my man, you know what I mean, for, for putting this song out. I too had had addressed this um, issue with a song of my own called "This House." Um, it's one of my earlier songs. I will pull up my um, my music video slash audio tracks playlist if you want to go listen to that. I basically call out Lord Jamar and Nick Cannon on their buffoonery, you know, what I'm saying on their fuckery. If you want to go and check that out, you know, what I'm saying it would be greatly appreciated. Um, but anyway, let's get back into this. The package, dude. No stickers left. Well, now what you gonna do these days? I love how he goes into his hooks too, and his hooks, the the hook for this one is perfect. You know what I mean? The way he, this whole this, this overall presentation and his delivery from his verses to his hooks and everything, phenomenal, fantastic. Is everybody want a label? Yeah, they got a plan and they want to entangle you. I'm on my back, so I ripped up the package, dude. No stickers left. Well, now what you gonna do? All right, y'all. So that was my man Wee Scheme with White Rapper, and uh, yeah, definitely mashing the like on this one because I did like this one very much. Hell, I'll go as far as say I love it. As a matter of fact, I love it so much. So let's see if we can add this to the favorite artist mix. There we go. Well, yeah, I definitely want that on a playlist because that is playlist material. So yeah. Shout out to my man Scheme for, for a phenomenal, phenomenal track. You know what I mean? I love it. You know what I mean? I love the way he delivered it. Like I said, I love the way he delivered his verses, the, the hooks and everything. Dug the flow, dug the cadence and everything. More importantly, I dig the message behind it. You know what I mean? We need to stop with this whole narrative as to who are the residents and who are the guests. And if we're gonna and if we can't steer away from that, well then let's make sure that we're properly using these terms to where they they belong as my man mentioned you know what i'm saying i feel like those who have the knowledge of the genre's history again and it, and it has nothing to do with 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 your skin tone who you are what you look like whatever the case is if you have love for the genre if you have enough respect for the genre to to, to study up its history to know its history how it got started and how it got to where it is today then you are a resident in the house of hip hop. If you lack the knowledge of the origins of this genre and how it got to where it is, then you are the one who should be the guest in the house of hip hop. If we're going to play that game, you know what I'm saying? But I rather, you know, those who have a love and an appreciation and respect for the genre, whether you're, you're a fan who just loves to vibe with the music, you know what I'm saying? And you live the rap and hip hop, life you know what i'm saying um hey you then you're you're just as much of a, of a resident you know what i'm saying um those who um who not only are fans of it but are also doing something with it whether you're a dj again shout out to my man alpha tyler or a producer shout out to my man jiminator j you know what i mean my man makes dope beats his channel should be linked in the description down below um if you guys want to go check out his his instrumentals if you're, you know, MCs like Scheme, like myself, you know what I'm saying? Or like my man Juminator is about to be. He's working on some stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, that should be coming out soon. I'm looking at you, Bubba J, when I say that. Um, <clears throat> it, you know what I mean? Then it's like, yo, you are just as much a resident as the greats, you know, of yesteryear. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh. It's time to put this nonsense to bed. I'm over it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure my man Scheme is over it, hence why he put that song out. You know what I mean? Which, again, I appreciate. You know what I mean? And so many of us, too, are, are just... And I know we're not the only ones. There's so many of us who are just tired of this BS narrative as to, oh, you know, certain people who look, who look a certain way are residents. Those who look a certain way are guests. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sick and tired of that dictation. I'm sick and tired of that narrative. And I know I'm not the only one. So, yeah. Yeah. 
hell of a job scheme really appreciate this one brother really love this one man keep doing your thing keep grinding you know what i'm saying if y'all are with it y'all know what to do with the link for the original video if you want to watch and listen to this on your own free time uninterrupted as you would like you know what i'm saying go show my man scheme some love i'm sure he'll appreciate that and uh yeah you guys are with this reaction y'all know while you're in the yeah description while i'm at it then uh please make sure that you guys are uh, checking out the reaction request instructions they have been updated um as uh recently as of yesterday as a matter of fact when i updated them and uh make sure you, you guys are checking out my, my store links and then of course the links to all my homies channels if schemes original if this video for that scheme put out is not in the description his channel is in the folks that i rock with section so either way you can find my man here on youtube traffic i can definitely direct traffic to his channel either way so i got him covered either way um and like I said, I'm pretty sure Geminator J's channel is down there as well. If you guys want to go check out his instrumentals, my man is definitely coming along with his instrumentals. I got Alpha Tyler's two channels down there as well. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> also, guys, if you're with the reaction, make sure you guys are, are hitting that like button. You know what I'm saying? And uh, leaving your feedback in the comment section down below. I look forward to checking out all y'all's feedback, as I always do. And uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. That would be greatly appreciated. Last time I checked, we were at 5,390 subs. We are 10 subs away from 5,400. Which will put me just 100 sub shy of 5,500, which is the halfway point to 6K, guys. We are almost at 6K. Man, let's go. Let's go, fam, bam. I'm excited, and I hope y'all are too. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell everybody that you know. That has a YouTube account. If you have troll accounts, if you have extra accounts, make sure all them all them accounts are subscribed. You know what I mean? So your boy can can get up there and, and, and live that 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 independent life. You know what I'm saying? That'd be greatly appreciated. You know what I mean? Bruh, bruh. Cause truth be told, I'd rather be doing this full time. You know what I mean? Because I love this stuff. You know what I mean? If I didn't, I wouldn't still be doing it. Even with the new job. You know what I mean? That's dictating my, my schedule right now. I'm still doing this because I love this. I'd rather do this. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all. Enough of my ramblings. You know what I'm saying? Till the next one. It is your boy, Jason JVs. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. All right? Peace.